Is Binance Coin still one of the best picks in crypto? The utility token of the biggest exchange and frankly biggest company in crypto is down about 50% from its all-time high in the beginning of 2019. Many people are wondering if Binance Coin's heyday is over. Today, we are going to take a look at whether or not the opportunity to get in on BNB is over. Let's get it. What if I told you you could buy one token and make daily passive income from multiple dApps and crypto platforms? And what if that token only had a 20,000 max supply ever? I bet you'd buy it. I know I did. Check out powermind.club and tell them BitBoy sent you. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto. If you would like daily crypto videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you want to learn more about crypto or trading, then please make sure to join one or both of my Telegram chats, the BitSquad or BitSquad Traders. All right, guys, today we are going to be taking a closer look at Binance Coin. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you my price prediction for this exchange utility coin. Recently, Simon Dedek of BlockFi rattled off a bunch of price predictions for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and several altcoins. One of the ones he mentioned was Binance Coin. Dedek put quite the number on BNB as he said he believes, and this is insane, Binance Coin will reach $500 for a 2,750% return on investment. It was nice to hear someone give such a bullish prediction on the crypto because it has been in a bit of a funk for about the last year. While Bitcoin and most cryptocurrencies peaked at the end of 2017, Binance Coin was just getting started at that point. Its peak would come a little over a year later. In late 2018 to 2019, this was one of the only coins that went against the trend and had a huge bull rally in spite of the larger bear market going on in crypto. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, the price crashed and has never recovered. The price of BNB right now is coming in at $16.84 at the time of this recording. It saw its all-time high of a little over 38 bucks almost exactly a year ago on June 21st. If you are unaware, Binance Coin is a utility token of the Binance Exchange, which is also used by Binance US. Basically, users of Binance get discounts on trading fees when they pay with BNB instead of whichever cryptocurrency they are trading. This kind of incentivized use case was brilliant in my opinion. This was a model that exchanges would duplicate time and time again as almost every cryptocurrency exchange now has its own utility token. But things are changing for Binance. Some things are their benefit and some things are going against them. Recently, Binance acquired CoinMarketCap. While some people have attacked Binance for this move, the fact is it's probably good for Binance itself. They've made some changes to the ranking metrics of CMC that have bolted them to the top of the exchange listings. CoinMarketCap is, of course, the most visited site in all of cryptocurrency. So being listed at the top of the market pairs will certainly be a good thing for them. Now, if you want to download CMC on the go, you can download the app by going to cmc.bitboy.live. But the only problem is that whether Binance is listed at the top or not, Americans are not able to use Binance any longer. Of course, Americans who were already on Binance and had never done KYC before are still able to trade there. But the fact is, if we do get a massive bull run and see a huge increase in retail investors from America, Binance will not be able to capture those customers. Binance US is available in many states in the US, but not all states. However, Binance US is a totally different company than Binance in reality. They have the same branding, but they're regulated separately. This is why Binance US is not able to list all of the same coins that Binance does. Binance US's selection of coins does not even compare to the elder Binance. And due to US regulation, Binance US will probably never be able to get all the same selection of coins. So the long and short of it is that Binance may not be able to see the same levels of success it saw before they banned Americans from their site. But that's really for the future. That probably has not been hurting the price in the short term lately. Don't get me wrong, BNB has had some decent increases since the crash in March. But of course, so have most coins. But Binance Coin has had a really hard time separating itself from the pack. And CZ has thrown everything but the kitchen sink at trying to grow over the last year. Just a few days ago, CZ was able to get BNB listed on Poloniex. Of course, Poloniex's major shareholder is none other than Justin Sun. BNB can now be used as a trading pair on the Poloniex exchange. Now, there's been a little tension between CZ and Justin Sun after the Steemit debacle where CZ helped Justin Sun hijack the network. CZ was actually on my podcast immediately following the event and discussed his remorse for using Binance customers' holdings of Steemit in order to assist in the takeover. 
If you want to check out the full interview, you can click the link above. But here's a quick clip from the interview where CZ explains his side of the situation. Uh, you probably know about with the Steam. That was a mistake. Right. So we backed out of it. Um, so that was something that was honestly, we, we did something we didn't know. But um, it happens. But we we acknowledge it. We, applaud, we apologize. We back, we back out of it. So... Um, hopefully, uh, um, as we as we continue to do that, people will see the see our values, see the see the fact that we actually are always aligned with the users. So that's that's the best we can do. Many have suspected this event led to some tension between two of the biggest names in cryptocurrency. But in either case, Poloniex did list BNB as a trading pair, and it hasn't done anything for the price. In fact, the price has actually gone down since that listing. But getting listed on other exchanges is not all CZ has been doing. Binance has been running many contests and launching new products in order to encourage people to adopt Binance Coin. Recently, Binance ran a promotion where traders got zero maker fees for trading. This was done to coincide with the launch of their smart pool service. This allowed anyone who opened a new account on Binance.com to get a share of $10,000 in Tether. And listen, y'all are crackheads. Or at least these exchanges think that you are. The promotions these exchanges run are pretty dumb in my opinion. And I'm not just calling out Binance here, but many exchanges. Like, do you really think people want a $5 trading bonus for depositing $200? These promotions are nuts. Like, whoopee, I may get 50 bucks if I deposit five grand. Wow. And I'll tell you this. If you're actually so desperate for money that getting a small share of some money in return for opening an exchange account, then you probably aren't in a position to be trading cryptocurrency. Those are just facts. These exchanges scratch their heads why these promotions don't work to get new accounts. I'm scratching my head as to why they think that they will. I think at the end of the day, many exchanges have just been going through the bear market like the rest of us. They're wondering why their numbers are down and trying to desperately drum up business. But facts are, if Bitcoin doesn't finally start running up to all-time highs by the end of this year, or at least close to it, there's nothing exchanges can do to get a huge influx of business. Bitcoin is pretty simple, really. When the price goes up, people are interested and want to start trading. When the price is sideways and there's no excitement or the price is tanking, then people are closing accounts instead of opening them up. But here's where the good news for holders of Binance Coin comes. I do believe that Bitcoin will be going up, and soon. It's going to drag all the altcoins up the mountain with it as well. And if it doesn't, I'm going to need a new job. Luckily, I've been moonlighting as a TikTok influencer lately. The rest of y'all will be screwed. Hopefully not, though, in reality. We all know that Bitcoin is timed on basically four-year cycles. Soon, we will be approaching the hyperdrive over the next year. And when this happens, even though Binance won't be able to get new U.S. investors, it will certainly see not only a rash of new traders from other countries, but also many inactive account holders, including some from the U.S., will most likely come back to rekindle their love for crypto. Binance has a huge selection of coins for people to trade with, and it's very reputable. Your average new retail investor to crypto is going to open up an exchange account and pretty much only trade there. I know so many people who got into crypto in 2017 who never ventured off Coinbase. If Binance can collect a large portion of new investors around the world, then BNB will no doubt benefit greatly. The more trading that occurs on Binance, the better position BNB will be in. But for the moment, many technical analysts are saying that an uptrend for Binance Coin seems very unlikely in the short term. But long term, I'm still bullish on Binance Coin. I believe in 2018 and 2019, it got a little ahead of itself in terms of price. There was really no reason it should have shot up as high as it did. It was the biggest mover during the bear market, and that's hardly sustainable. One thing that also has me bullish for the future of Binance Coin is the prospects of DeFi in the Binance chain. We all know decentralized finance has been huge for Ethereum. We're seeing other chains jumping into the fray left and right. Recently, I did a review of Kava Labs, another project I'm bullish on. Kava Labs' new lending platform is actually using Binance Coin as support for its collateralized loans. There are plenty of stable coins already planned for the Binance chain as well. And look, few entities out there have more money than Binance, so if they want to throw their weight around in the DeFi space, then they can certainly do that. We will just have to continue to monitor the progress that Binance is going to have on the DeFi space. So let's get to my personal price prediction for Binance Coin. Unlike Simon Dedek, I don't see Binance Coin getting to $500, but I definitely believe it will see a big year over the next 365 days or more. I believe BNB will hit $249 per coin, and that's based on a 225k Bitcoin. 
it goes above that, then BNB could certainly see bigger gains, and I'm hoping that it does. But now it's your turn. What do you believe the prospects are for Binance Coin? Drop your price predictions below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe to become a member of the Bit Squad. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. BitBoy out.